Hi guys, this is Via Courtney, and welcome to Erusal, the new Jerusalem. <laughs> um, so, I think that this is about, like, religion or something, or like, religious conflict or whatever. But we all know how much I love, um, how much I love religious conflict, because, uh, yeah. Because it's fun. Because, uh, because, <laughs> I can speak, because I get aroused when, um, when there's religious conflict happening. I just get, like, a raging lady boner. Well, well in my case, an actual boner, but, you know. Um, so instead of calling this arousal, we're going to call it arousal, because I'm aroused. So, yeah, let's get started. Plus, I tried to record this earlier, and it was so, like... This freaking frame rate is so bad on my computer because, like, look, the frame rate looks now, but once I press play, it's gonna turn into fucking shit. Also, really sorry if it's loud. I can't turn it down because this is what this is all that's in the options menu. That's really good. So yeah, we're gonna play. And listen, this is a little better, but you know what? We're gonna do with it. Find cell phone keys. To oh my god. <laughs> that was really fast. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Am I Sonic or something? Choo. Also, there's input lag. What? Um, there's input lag. This is really good. <laughs> Find cell phone keys, tablet, and breakup letter. What? Why are we... What? Why do we need all these things? Are we... We are literally like a... An everyday teenager. Cell phone, keys, tablet, and breakup letter. A breakup letter. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna question it. We're just gonna... We're just gonna find these things. Where would I find a cell phone? What's that over there? Keys. Oh my god. I move so fucking fast. Seriously. Also... Again, when I look down, the game runs faster. My computer hates me. It actually hates me. I guess because the floor had... You know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to go. There's a tablet right there. Hello? To Dakota from me. Wow, okay, I thought you were my friend. I'm going out to the mountains anyway, not that you care. What? Who's Dakota? Is Dakota like her girlfriend or something? Or boyfriend, you know. I don't really know. I guess Dakota could be a boy, you know, because we could be gay as fuck, but you know. There's a bug. In the game, not in real life. And I hate, I hate the noise of buzzing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you heard that. <laughs> that was not in real life, that was in the game. And that really bothers me. To me from Dakota, hey, so sorry, but something came up. We'll take our quads out next weekend for sure. I'll have to change the oil in on mine, but that sounds like a lot of fun. Let's go on Saturday. We should look for new trails out in the mountains. Hey, forget Sam. If Sam doesn't appreciate you, then that means that we can spend more time together. We haven't taken our quads out together since you started dating. Let's take them out this weekend. Okay, so Sam is our boyfriend. We're gonna say it's our boyfriend because... Why not? We're gonna be gay as fuck in this game. Press the pause button to... The pause button. Yep. I can speak. So, escape, basically. I almost... How do I... Okay. Because there's no... Why? That was weird. Why was my thing still in the screen? Okay, find cell phone and break up letter. So we're gonna break up with Sam, I guess? Cell phone. Oh my god, we move so fucking fast. Now where would a, our break up letter be, I guess? Seriously, we move so fast. And it really bothers me that we move that fast. Like, do we... I'm stepping... I'm inside the chair. And the noise just stopped. The ambient noise just stopped. <laughs> the, no the noise just stopped. Why did the noise stop? 
Oh my god. Im <laughs> immediately, this is comedy gold. Yep. What's in here? Nothing. Great. Oh my god. I have a hair in my mouth. Great. The ambient no outside noise just stopped. Seriously. If I look back in the recording and the ambient noise is still going, I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna fucking kill someone. But there's footstep noises, though. Only... So apparently, everything outside just died. Great. This is... This it was right here all along. I was walking around like a fucking idiot, and I was right... This is Slenderman again. I, could, I can't find anything in this... In games. Okay. <laughs> Breakup letter. Hey, it's really important that you read this whole thing before reacting, okay? I don't know if I can do this anymore. We're moving so fast. I don't know if I can keep up. When we are together, everything feels great, but when we are apart, I feel empty inside. It's so confusing to feel such joy and such pain inspired by the same person. I feel something holding me back, like a weight every time we are together. I know I smile when we are together because I really am happy, but the, ha but the sadness I feel when we are apart confuses me. I don't like this part of myself, whatever it is. I know you like me, but I feel so unlovable, okay? I think I need to work on understanding and appreciating this part of me, whatever it is. I don't think I can keep this up until I sort my feelings out. We should take some time apart to see other people. I need some time with my friends, and I think you should spend some time with yours. I hope that you don't hate me for this. I really do care about you, but I need to sort out my feelings. See you around, Sam. Sort out your feelings! <laughs> this is the worst kind of breakup letter. I hate... I hate things like this. Like, I don't know if I could do this anymore. We're moving so fast. You know, it's not you, it's me. Just kidding, it actually is fucking you. I just, you know, but there's this man that I really, really like, and, you know, he's a lot hotter than you and richer, and, you know, he has actual muscles, and you just look like a fucking stick, and you have the um, income of someone, of a team that works at Publix or McDonald's. So, yeah, bye. Peace out, bitch. So apparently we didn't break up with... I hate that... I hate... I hate that, that the freaking mouse stays in the screen. Why? <laughs> so apparently we didn't break up with Sam. Sam broke up with us. Because she's... Because he's a fucking bitch. You know what? It's a woman. Because a man wouldn't do this. I think. Because women are assholes. I know I am a woman. But I'm not at the same time. So... Meh. Just women are assholes. Okay. Abandoned by your friends, you leave to spend the next. You leave to spend the day tearing up a new part of the mountains on your quad bike. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So basically, we're just going up the mountains in our in our car or our uh, four wheeler, or something, or just that. It feels good to be outdoors. The wind whipping past makes you feel alive. You weave between the sparse trees. Did it freeze or something? No, it didn't. Okay. Then there is a harsh pain across your chest. There was a rope tied between those last two trees. The bike keeps going, but you are stopped midair. Then you fall into darkness. What? There's a harsh pain across. What? Okay. So basically, we like got. So basically, there was like a like like some kind of fucking booby trap or something that we ran into while we were on our bike, but the bike was still driving, and we just basically got knocked off our bike by a rope that was tied between the two trees. I think that's what happened, and we passed out because of it. Either that or we died. Um. Great. You wake up days, there's a woman outside digging, but digging what? It doesn't feel right, you have to get out of here. Great. What? What is that noise? <laughs> so, that's what it looks like. Is that... That's the woman outside digging. Great. It stopped. Is that the woman just... I, is that the woman's... Is that the woman screaming? The woman is screaming. She... 
Okay, I'm not laughing at the fact of how ridiculous it is. I'm laughing because I she's just I'm imagining like someone just standing outside your house and screaming their heads off, standing like that and just screaming for no reason. Just like like if someone like knocked on your door or something and then you opened it and and you went, "Hello, who are you?" and they just screamed in your face and left. Like it was like that. She's not even digging. She's just standing there with a shovel. It's a bathroom. Am I floating? I stood on the toilet. Great. I can I can stand on the toilet. But it's not like I I'm on the sink. I am on and standing in the sink. <laughs> Fucking scream, I can't. You know what? No, we're gonna explore a little bit more. Oh my god! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> the way I left, it was just like abrupt. Listen listen to it now, and then when we leave, it's so. When we leave, the screaming stops so abruptly. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fucking giggly right now. What are these? I'm gonna read this one first. Bum, bum, bum. Great. Burnett, is that the name of the lady? I think that's the name of the woman. Burnett. Okay, Burnett. Well, diary, it certainly has been a while since I have leafed through your pages. I am afraid that without a need for it, I have lost track of the date. What? You could just... It's 2016. Everyone has iPhones. <laughs> or like a fucking Apple Watch or something. I don't have an iPhone or an Apple Watch. But you know what? In general. Okay. <laughs> Instead of dating my entries, I will number them from now on. It's nice to find you again, like making contact with an old friend. It will be even nicer to pour my thoughts and feelings into you again. I forgot how f refreshing it was. I feel relaxed already. Great. You feel... Okay. Okay. Life alone is a little more lonely than I... <laughs> Life alone is a little more lonely than I expected. What did you expect? <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, you know, I, I'm going to live life alone, but, you know, I'm, I'm just going to have company. Like, that doesn't make any sense. What did you expect life alone was going to... Apparently this woman has uh, the IQ of a fucking grapefruit because you can't expect to uh, live alone and not expect to be lonely. That's the whole point of living alone. Okay. I suppose that it's why alone and lonely are such similar words, but I have no regrets. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. What does this mean? The bridge collapsed today, diary. Perhaps I can find another route to the church. I still- To church. My favorite place. My favorite fucking place. I still like to spend some time there occasionally. In death, my family is closer than ever before. Their sins will not be forgotten, however. I have found all- of I'm sorry, I can't with fucking religious people. They drive me to fucking insanity. I have found all of their diaries. They are hidden away in their secret nooks and alcoves no longer. I will spread their pages around the homes they used they used to inhabit, and in doing so, remind their haunting spirits of the misdeeds that sealed their fate. Surely, everyone has some sin that could inspire a similar fate. Mine is the murder of my own family. If I can be corrupted like that, surely everyone has that fearful potential. So she does she kill her family? I think she did. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. <laughs> today we have an intruder today. Okay. I wonder what sins weigh down their soul. At the very least, they have torn up the sacred valley with their vehicle. I alone be- Okay, so I think this is us. I alone, being the perjurer of sin, have the right to tread here. I will not allow this person to leave. Fuck. Fuck you, bitch. Burn Burnett, whatever the fuck your name is. Um, 
March 15th, 1992 was the last time someone left this valley. I will bring them to the church and lay them down with the other sinners. Brad must be feeling quite alone after all this time. He did not deserve a grave next to my family. He can have the company of this stranger. Okay, so base is she gonna kill us or something? I think so. Why are the, the dust particles look really weird? Like, apparently this place has some fucking energy in it or something. Is she still there? No. Okay. Good. Because I can't fucking stand Burnett. Fucking bitch. She's gonna kill us. Oh my god. Okay. So, okay, this is the new Jerusalem. The... <laughs> okay. So, I think they're Jewish, since this is apparently the new Jerusalem. But because they're Jewish... Why are there crosses on their walls? I don't really... Th okay, I am not Jewish. My dad is Jewish. I know nothing about Judaism. Um, but I'm pretty sure that that's not wouldn't be something that they would celebrate. Because aren't Jewish... I'm not... Excuse me if you are Jewish, but didn't you kill Jesus? Because you... Isn't that... Didn't you kill Jesus? I'm pre- You know what? <laughs> not gonna question it. Not gonna- Not gonna question it. I'm just gonna stay positive, because that's what YouTubers do. Stay positive, because, you know, YouTubers don't ever get mad, you know, because we're YouTubers, obviously. And how many times can I say we're YouTubers? And, um, uh, but obviously, you know, we don't have any feelings. Okay, so it's locked, I think. Let's try and go through- I try and look through here. It's a lovely patio and a broken, mossy bench. Okay. You know, because the outside, the door to the outside is locked. Because people do that. You know, because there isn't an inside lock on the in. Okay. I know for a fact that there's an inside lock on the inside of the house. So, you could just unlock the door and then leave. So, this doesn't... Doesn't make any sense. Unless you, like, flipped the door around. The door's that way. Unless you, like, flipped the door around, then that... That doesn't... That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I can't get this through this fucking door. Um, by the way, you can see my head clipping through my shoulders. To, to, like, the, the white flash in the bottom of the screen, I'm clipping through my body. <laughs> Holy shit. That is fucking amazing. The church! My favorite place. I remember when, um, I think I did say, but my, my grandma died recently, and we didn't really go to a church but we went to like a like a graveyard to like um like one of those mausoleums because she was buried uh next to her husband uh next to my grand great grandfather I mean she's my great grandma but everyone this everyone was like so like oh my god she's in a better place and you know she's going to heaven okay I respect your beliefs but it took all my fucking might to not slap them in the f face. There's, uh, there's people sitting here now. This is a fun game. <laughs> okay. But it took all my fucking might because I cannot stand religious people. Not, you know, like, if you have a religion, good for you. But if you're, like, f fucking overly religious, if that makes any sense, like, this Bible-thumping bitches, then I hate you. Just saying. And you can fucking leave. Bye. You know, I respect you if you're if you're Christian. I don't care if you're Christian. Honestly, I don't care what fucking religion you are. But I just don't have the same beliefs. That it took all my fucking might to be like, um, actually... So, yeah. I'm talking complete fucking... Ram I'm fucking rambling over shit right now. Where am I supposed to go? Where am I going? <laughs> Apparently, 
apparently I'm supposed to go out here or something. Is there like another way? What's okay? So there's my car apparently. If that doesn't make it. If I took my four wheeler here, or is this her car? Is this Burnett the bitch? Is this her car? I can't fit through this hole, through this very obvious gap that you can very obviously fit through. Nope. Mm -mm. No. I want to jump down, jump down that cliff so fucking bad. I every time I see a cliff in a video game, I just want to jump immediately. That's my first instinct is to just fucking jump off that shit. Can someone please explain to me where the fuck I'm supposed to go? So obviously I can't move like over here or something. Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to see if I could fall, and I can't. Um. <laughs> okay, I know I have the resolution down and the graphics down because of my computer, but look at, <laughs> look at. I want to see what it looks like with higher graphics. I'm not gonna stop the recording and change it because if I go back, because I have to close the game for it, and I can't do that otherwise the the recording corrupts, and I can't leave the window because again the recording corrupts. But I want to see how, how the graphics look with the, a little bit higher. I want to see how this looks. Because that's fucking terrible. So yeah. We're just gonna, I guess, go this way. You know, because I'm, I'm a fucking idiot and I didn't go around the fucking fence. Okay. What's this? Okay. I can't, like, stop moving. <laughs> like, there's actual input lag really bad. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Can I go around? Maybe I can get into the back. No. Of course. Of course I can. Of course I fucking can. This is a key. Can I, can I take it, please? Can I fucking take it? Thank you. Pfft. Excuse me. I just got hit by the damn door. Okay, so there's an another note there. And there's a note there, too. So. Okay, let's read this. Well, I better grow up quick. Today I found out that I got Kathy pregnant when we fucked a few months ago. God. Damn. It. Today I found out that... I got, okay. I love, the, I love the wording of that. Today I found out that I got Kathy pregnant when we fucked a few weeks... A few uh, months, even. When, I, when we fucked a few months ago. We had sex, okay? And I knocked her up, damn it. Or, no, sorry. God. Damn it. I guess I better get myself together. I'm going to be a father now, so I need a job. Are we like, is this a 15 year old? Is David, because is David a 15 year old? I want to know. And is Burnett like literally a teen mom? Oh my god. It's not Burnett, it's Honey Pie. Oh my god, hey Honey Pie. Last time I remember you had blonde hair, but you know, now you have kind of like light brown hair. Babies need clothes and food, and I'm going to have to support Catherine, and we will have to move in together and get married, and there is so much to do. Fuck. <laughs> Great. We'll have to... Okay, so... Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't need all... Like, you don't need to move in together and get married and all that shit. I wouldn't. Okay. I'm going to have to find- you already said you need to have to find a job. You need to have to find a job. I'm illiterate. I don't want to work in the mine because those guys always have a real bad cough. That can't be healthy, so maybe I could work with my dad as a mechanic. I'm going to have to spend more time there watching the things he does. Fuck! It's late, so I better rest up for tomorrow. The rest of my life is starting, after all. Great. David, you irresponsible fuck. You didn't use a fucking condom. This is why you use condoms. I'm pretty sure. Imagine what their dad's gonna say. 
Because, you know, because they're, like, apparently, like, really devout Jewish people. They're just going to be like, you fucking bitch. I'm just going to look at Burnett. She's going to be like, you slut. How could you? <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Finally, after, this is David again. Finally, after three whole weeks of pestering him, my dad gave me a job. Sheesh, that took a while. I'm his own flesh and blood, and he worries me like that. What? Whatever, it's all lined up now. I will be a mechanic for, sorry, I have dyslexia. I think. I have, like, very minor dyslexia, I think. I don't know for sure. That's just what I think. I will be a mechanic for a while until Dad retires, and then I will own the business. Then it will be smooth sailing. Stort's mechanics will become David's awesome auto. <laughs> David's awesome auto. Great. That's a much better name. This is literally a 15-year-old. This is actually a 15-year-old, because of the way he's talking. Then I can hire someone else to be the mechanic and ride out the rest of my life. In the meantime, Dad is taking my hunt- my, my hunting. Dad is taking my hunting this weekend. Great. Our hunting trips are pretty fun, but he is probably going to be giving me life lessons and war stories the whole time. Boy, do those get old fast. Yeah, really. I have brothers and a, father, and a stepfather that talks, like, all kinds of life lessons and war stories and like um and fucking cars and football and shit and obviously i'm not into that and they know i don't i'm not but you know what that's fine so i had another feeling he was cozy and safe in his tank the whole time i need to stop on rambling so the stories sound like a history lecture from school i guess it's good to make my dad happy by listening to his stories though he did just give me a job after all i am fucking sorry that i'm rambling so much but this game is so boring and so, like, slow-moving that it's finding, like, that I'm just talking random shit because I'm bored. Can I get up the fucking stairs? Oh my god! <laughs> I fell down the stairs. That is something that I would do. Okay, there's a note here. I noticed today how grown uh, honey pie is. <laughs> I may have to start sitting on my porch, cleaning my gun so that all the boys in town know to keep their hands off my daughter. You know, I'm just going to call her Burnett. I don't give a fuck. That's honey pie. But we're just going to call her Burnett. Her real name is Burnett, but, her, but people just call her honey pie. Both me and dad got married due to unplanned babies. I won't let that happen to my daughter. Kathy sure has been good to me lately. She made my, my favorite dinners every night this week. She has been smiling a lot more, too. I'm glad she is finally out of the funk her parents left her in. It has been four years since they passed away. That seems like a long time to me, but then again, both of my parents are still walking around. That is fucked up! <laughs> I don't think you should let Kathy see that. Dad still has, has not given me the business, but I'm making a decent amount of money, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Is there any more? Is there any in the toilet or in the sink? Nope. Because, you know, you never know with these fucking shit games. There could actually be one in the toilet. Okay. I don't see any more. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so scary and intimidating. Oh my god. I'm fucking... I am like... I just shot myself, actually. I shot myself. I came in my pants, and I got a boner all at the same time. Arousal, everyone. This is arousal. I told you. Great. I meant to go down the stairs and instead came down. Came th oh my god, are you kidding? Thank you. Okay, so I guess the only... Can we go out front, or can we only go out back? Well, I guess we can only leave it back. Where is she? Where is this hoe? Can I get to the... Fuck? Thank you. I don't see her anywhere. I can't move. There's like an invisible wall here. Oh my god, I thought I was stuck. <laughs> I would have been so mad. Can I... Is there a jump button? Yes. I'm just... I'm just an idiot, so... Hello? By the way, why does it... <laughs> the jumping noises sound so funny. It's just like, hey! It's just like, like we actually fart every time we jump. 
Okay, so where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh yeah, there's a thing. Isn't there like a thing over here? I just completely forgot that the door over here was open. I'm blind, I'm sorry. Okay, so I guess we have to go in here. What? What? Casual looking thing. Burnett caught you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. What's the interact button? E? Okay, so just click, basically. So what am I supposed to do? What do you want, bitch? Where am I going? Hello? Where are you? Hi. God damn it. Burnett's a fucking bitch. How do you play as a whore? That's what she fucking is. Is it, was it Kathy that got pregnant or, or Burnett? I don't remember. I think it was Kathy, wasn't it? The fucking screaming. I swear to God. The funniest fucking thing I've ever heard. She's the scariest thing I've ever seen. So scared, oh my god. Can I read it, please? Could please? Can I f read the read the I can't read the damn note! I actually cannot read the note. It won't let me. Like it it turns red for a second, like I can. Thank you. Did David... Who's... What... Is this David again? No, this is Magnus. Okay. Judy is pregnant. My hands tremble as I write these words, both out of fear and out of excitement. I was out of the mind that my little girl was still just that. Wait, what? Ju... My little... What? Judy is... Oh, is this, like, a father? Or... Or is or did or is this like a boy what? Did her father like rape her or something? I don't know. Well I guess we'll find out later. I was out of the mind that my little girl was still just that, but today she came to me and revealed she has become a woman. Seventeen is old enough to have a child, I suppose. No it's not Who in their right mind thinks that seventeen is old enough to have a, a child? No. Oh my god. Lord knows the miners I employ don't wait that long, so I can be grateful she has kept herself away from them. My reputation may take a bit of a beating, but the fallout is manageable. The boy himself has gusto. What? What? Okay. I'm not sure if that's a made-up word. I think that's a real word, but I'm not sure. His name is Stort, and he has just returned as a veteran of the Second Great War. From the stories I have heard, he seems ambitious. Perhaps I can turn that ambition to my advantage. He was the mechanic of a tank unit, so perhaps I can start a mechanic franchise through him. So was this like... No, this, what? Okay, this is really weird. I don't understand. What is going on? He was the mechanic of a tank unit, so perhaps I can start a mechanic franchise through him. He seems passionate enough, and it may be a way to turn this situation to my advantage. The profits from that, the coal mine... And the bank I operate will make me very comfortable indeed. Thinking about it now brings a smile to my face. When I first heard the news of my daughter's pregnancy, I was furious. But now I can see the opportunity unfolded before me. So basically, what he's going to do is now he's just going to take advantage of his business so that he can become a rich whore, I guess. Judy, you fucking bitch! Burnett, whatever! Fuck you!
Do I still have... Do I still have that entry? Yes. So where am I? Where the fuck? Okay, maybe I can, like, say... Can I save this? I want to know if I can save it. Probably not. We... You know what we're gonna do? I am actually going to uh, end this video here. Um, and... I'm going to upload this video, and then tomorrow I'm going to make another video of this, because I kind of want to play all of this game, because it's actually not, it's not that bad, and I want to play the whole thing. It is, it's really freaking confusing, and Burnett is the most casual looking ghost I've ever fucking seen, but, um, yeah, I actually kind of like it. It's not fucking terrible, like, of, um, uh, uh, Mind's Eyes, and that really wasn't that terrible. That I, I just said it was fucking terrible. It's not that bad. Neither of them are bad, okay? It's funny. I ha I'm having fun. So, yeah. I'm going to continue this recording tomorrow. So, we're going to end this video here. So, like if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down in the comment section what you're thinking of this um, series so far. And of other games that you would like me to play. Um, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!